Tonight, I'm once again in the city of Newburgh, New York, looking at an odd bird indeed, the e-golf. The e-golf rad road bike. I did a Google search for this and I couldn't find anything. Apparently rad means bike? Or e-golf means bike? And rad means red? Or e-golf means... Anyway, something means something. But I could not find one other e-golf rad road bike anywhere. So, let's check this thing out. It's a real simple bike. It's probably made in Germany, I'm guessing. Meilen? Does that mean Germany? That's such a great logo. Where's, uh, where's Aaron Draplin when you need him? He'd peel that right off and scan it in. The stem? I don't know what the deal is with the stem. The headset is by off mega. The handlebars are aluminum. The handlebar wrap is just cloth, cloth tape. It's really nice. It's got a lot of grime and everything, but it's it just looks like it's been used. The brake levers are Weinman, the brake lever hoods are Weinman. The brakes are Weinman type 600, it looks like. You got a cast chrome plated fork crown and a lugged steel frame and I don't know what kind of tube set this is but it's pretty lightweight and it's got a service guarantee so I don't know what that means this saddle looks really great I'm sure some fixed gear kid would love this a 3 TTT suede saddle with just enough wear and here are these little brake clamps, cable clamps. I don't know what kind those are. Now down here we have some Vicenza Campagnolo shifters, which look really... I, I don't know if this is high-end Campagnolo stuff or like the low-end Campagnolo stuff that came on like vintage Atala bikes, but these are really cool looking. And then here we got the e-golf rad decals. And then in the front, Campagnolo derailleur. And you can kind of see the back of this. It's uh, got this really cool cast Campagnolo logo there. I think the derailleur, let me, let me try this. I think it just kind of pushes in and out. Look at that. That is really, really cool. The rims are Ambrosio, and disappointingly enough, they're called sew-up rims, you know, where the tire is glued to the rim. And I don't know if that's better or worse, it just means that I'm not gonna put tires on this and actually ride it, which is too bad, because it looks like it's close to my size, maybe a little short. Anyway, the Weinman brake in the back is a Type 500. Was the front a 500? Maybe. Yeah, I guess I said 600, but maybe that's a 500. In any case, nice little compact Weinman caliper brakes. And in the back here, we have nice GPM, uh, what do you call these, dropouts? Five sprockets in the back two in the front and a Campagnolo rear derailleur and it looks like some dust and pet hair or something in there. The crank set is by Ofmega and the front hub and I'm assuming the back hub is also Oof Mega, and this is a cool, it's a, an all alloy hub, but the flanges are like pressed on instead of machined out of one piece. 
So I don't know if that makes it a worse or a better design. And then the pedals here, I don't know what brand they are. Just little pedals with toe clips. And deep inside here, you got some really cool cable routing. And on the other side, here's your bottom bracket. So, since I couldn't find out anything about this bike, I can't really tell you anything about it. You know, maybe this video will serve as a resource for the next person who finds one of these bikes. Except if my conclusion is that I have no idea what it is, then sorry I didn't help very much. But I can say it's really light. I'm estimating, you know, in the 20, 21 pound range. I'm just kind of taking a guess. And it looks like it would be really, really fun to ride. Because it's just so simple and basic. It, I don't know how old it is. I don't know how to date these parts, but I'm guessing 1960s which makes it a little bit older than most of the bikes I find. You now I find a ton of bikes from the 70s, 80s, 90s, but not so much from the 60s. And condition, I have a suspicion that this bike may have had some kind of front end collision because this lug looks a little bit weird here. And under here, it's kind of hard to show in the video, but there's some overspray. So I have a feeling that maybe either somebody bent the fork leg and then straightened it and repainted it a little bit, or maybe replaced the fork legs entirely, or maybe it's just sloppy construction from the factory. Because these aren't exactly fancy lugs in the first place. So is this a high-end bike? Or is it a middle-of-the-road bike? Is it even a low-end bike? Was it made in Germany? Was it made in Italy? Was it made in uh, Hoboken, New Jersey? No, I doubt it. I really don't know. But I like just about everything about it. The simplicity, the fork crown, the brakes. The only thing I don't like is these tires. And I guess if I was gonna keep the bike for myself, I'd just figure out how to deal with that. But I'm not gonna keep this bike. I don't keep any of the bikes. And so that's it. The e-golf rad road bike. Here in the city of Newburgh. Thanks for watching.